A couple of times during the past few months, I have received a phone call from a lady on behalf of a certain bank. And when I take the call and say hello, she responds by asking me, Mr. Dogra, how are you today? The word today jars me right up to the toes of my feet. It somehow gives me the uncomfortable feeling that perhaps I am not expected to be well on all days. Words convey meanings, but they also point in different directions in terms of space and time. The word today, for instance, tends to contrast with the past. Today he came in time. Does this not imply that he usually does not come on time? Let us finish the work today. Does it mean we have not been finishing each day's work so far? Or does this mean let us not carry forward today's work to tomorrow? A friend on Facebook pointed out this link and raised the question whether it should not be rephrased as scientists think we may be able to grow potatoes on Mars. To us Indians, the phrase being able to or being unable to carries the sense of a conscious being. The dog was not able to get through the narrow gap seems fine. The vine was not able to grow out of the narrow gap also seems fine. But potatoes will be able to grow somehow seems odd. Perhaps the vine as it grows around and is thus more mobile is seen as a living being unlike a potato. Words as I said tend to point in different directions. Let us take two sentences which appear to be identical but which connect an act to two different persons. In a certain context, a woman says, I feel scared in the presence of my husband. Another woman in another context says, My husband's presence scares me. Imagine that one of these women is speaking to her psychiatrist while another is speaking to a family counselor. Which of these statements is more likely to be from which of the two women? In my opinion, in the first statement, the woman takes the blame on herself. It is she who feels scared. Therefore, more likely she is with the psychiatrist. In the second sentence, the woman puts the blame on her husband. It is his presence that scares her. Therefore, it is more likely that she is complaining to the counsellor rather than to the psychiatrist. If we want to use language effectively, we must develop sensitivity to word play. Thanks for watching.